uh, after you tell the bicycle story. Yes, you can shut down Twitch. <laughs> let's see i think uh, i went through the drive through i got 30 tacos 30 tacos I mean, it was just for him. Yeah. that's a lot of tacos they were for me <laughs> i was gonna say what did matter <laughs> <laughs> no, i'm telling you i think I've, I've actually even said it here on the on the twitch you know that that drive through Mexican restaurant with those mm -hmm. amazing tacos. Mm -hmm. I am yeah. a fan. Yeah, I was, I was sitting fun. in the drive through while they were, they were um, assembling our meal. Mm -hmm. And the guy, the guy, you know, you know, talking to us, he's all smiles and he's like, limes here, have some limes. So he had a, he gave us three whole limes all sliced and gave us a back, back at us, a bucket of sauce. It was like, I don't know, 15, <laughs> 20 sauces. I mean, it's like he gave us half the restaurant, like, I think we've reached that tier of support at yeah. the taco rest. You've gotten to the point. <laughs> tacos for all. I've I've been there once, and yes, all yeah, the tacos are fantastic. Good. And you had so many tacos, you've not felt the need to return yet. I had three. I, processing the original I, of tacos. I had three, and that is definitely not enough tacos for Christmas. <laughs> I will also plug that they have a separate location that has more flavors of tacos, and they are all very good as well. Where is the they other location? Fish, they have a barbecue um, beef. They have uh, Adam, so many other kinds, and they are great. Taco lingua. Where is, it? Where is this one? Uh, it's on Broadway. Broadway? On Broadway. I've been trying to tell you, Matt. I told you a lunch. million times. The one on know, Broadway. I've got, has... I've got one like a block away, though. Yes, but the, the, one that's on, the one that's on Broadway is the original one, and they have they have a lot of stuff. I think you will love it. I thought the original one was the truck. I mean, I, I can't speak you're... on that. But <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know about that. But <laughs> they definitely have one on Broadway that has multi flavors. Okay. Including tongue. And bubblegum. And oxtail. Bubble tacos. <laughs> like Jesus intended. I'm just um, saying. Yeah, too, sorry. Uh, hey, Mike, you got like a tunnel voice thing going on. Is there a, oh. something different? Let me, push, let me push the button to make it no tunnel voice. Hang on. I thank you for pressing the no tunnel voice option. <laughs> what's, what's that voice app that uh, my daughter uses one of them it, like it alters your voice and you can do like really crazy things to it voice uh, changer pro How do that's, I sound it. that's it that's it that's it <laughs> we got it immediately it sounds like exactly what it does yeah. changes your voice like I a pro I, it actually I, I actually i actually have the voice of a 12 year old boy and this is just voice changer pro that turns me into, <laughs> into this deep very white voice uh does my sound sound better Matt? it does Perfect. yeah oh, okay, good. The sound. it always sounds better when you I'm... use the right microphone <laughs> <laughs> that was the one under the table yep. it also helps when you have the microphone actually at your face instead of five feet mm. away over the other monitor yeah exactly that's helpful I've I've been tinkering with everything on my end in terms of audio because last time I was listening, uh, I went back and listened. I could only hear myself out of one channel, so I hope that's fixed. And, um, oh, apparently I am pretty loud, but everyone else is a few notches lower. So just, I can... Uh, if you're listening in the chat, just remove one of your ears and just see if James <laughs> no, still sounds fine. okay. But, oh, if I'm, if I'm a little loud, I'll just back I'm here. Sure How's that? Is that better? Just, yeah, that's right. That, that, that's screaming. what it really is. The rest of us just need to scream to keep up. Yeah. Defense. That's fine. <clears throat> so, got a couple of announcements. Mm -hmm. Of course, Ooh. the Almighty Podcast every other Monday. They're off this Monday. They'll be dropping another one on the 5th with Adam and Atkins. We've also got Rocks and Rune Lords on Wednesdays and early on Sundays for those patrons. Oh, my it's, goodness. You want that too because today's episode was amazing. Was it? 
What yeah. happened today? I can't tell you. I was there. Well, I'm you sure anyway. you, you, should, you should join the Patreon and you should go and get that early download and listen. <laughs> Speaking of patrons, uh, Shell is one of our patrons, and she has been for ever, and she has she has really supported us over the last almost a year, I'd say, if not a year. And one of our patron goals is if you do what she has done for the past year, we will run a game for you and some of your friends. Well, her choice was to run a game for us. So oh. Wes, Adam, me, and Casey got to play, and Shell GM'd a Pathfinder 2E, uh, I think it's one of the one of the ones for Pathfinder Society. I, I'm not sure what they call those, but it was really cool. She was using a different uh, different tabletop program, which I can't name right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. And again, thank you, Shell. If you watch this, we have all we all had a ball. We've actually been talking about it today. So thank you very much, Shell, for your patronage. Now. Back to reality. <laughs> so last time, <clears throat> some shit happened. <laughs> shit happened. You guys were tra la la, just going down the hall looking for some slaves, and I believe you got attacked by some invisible automatons. That and was then, fun. Then you drew the ire, or at least the attention, of a room full of hobgoblins, goblins. Dwarves. Oh, and that creature. Um, interestingly, interestingly enough, the the hound was a howler. Pickles. Spr- uh, pickles. 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 Yes. Pickles. 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 Yes. <laughs> that was a howler. Which this game was designed for three at third edition. Howlers aren't that bad. Howlers are CR eight creatures in fifth edition. Nice. So I had to do a little tweaking. Otherwise, it would have eaten the party. But <laughs> care of the howler. Thank it was a hell of a puppy. <laughs> it was a little it was a one. Puppy. And then in the middle of combat, what happens except for bam? Bam. Mm-hmm. Uh, Add some spice to that. Bam. <laughs> bam. Yeah. A gigantic beholder is beheld. <laughs> and during the fight, he runs around, talks to Kazmogen, flies around. I guess he's not running. Rolls around. Drifts. Uh, yeah, drifts is a good one. Annihilates a goblin, takes Tarathiel and throws him on the ceiling, <laughs> and whisks away one of the four fight. children. And then later, at the end of the combat, I believe Tarathiel backstabbed Kazmogen with a psychic dagger to end the fight. Khaldun went on a murder hobo streak, just stabbing everything he could with his two handed sword <laughs> while they were unconscious. I feel much better now. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't enough to kill the uh, the sleep the the sleeping. Actually, he was sleeping. He was sleeping. Uh, hobgoblin. So you still <laughs> stabbed him, thus picking <laughs> him up, and he is now lying there, one hand on the wound, one hand up, giving up. What are you doing now? Bleeding gently onto the floor. <laughs> I, I'm, at, I'm at five hit points. <laughs> oh, that's very many. There needs to be five's a, five's a good number. It's better than five is yeah, five's five is number. better than three. Which I heard a conversation recently about going into battle with three hit points and how that's a bad idea. So I thought five might <laughs> I be. I can't okay. imagine why. Mm. It's a handful. <laughs> uh-huh. That's a whole hand. <laughs> you. So I guess to like build on that, I was kind of over here with the other kids. Like, are they are they good on health? Like, what's going on with them? Kids, aside from being a little scared, maybe slightly malnutrition. <clears throat> excuse me, malnutrition. Um, they're not hurt. They've not been injured mm-hmm. at all. Okay. They're still huddling around the pole. You know, you're standing right there, but they're they're huddled together. Uh, obviously terrified. I think um, Tarathiel's intention was to try and distract them from what's happening, the, the horrible, brutal murder that's happening behind them. <laughs> well, these kids Hi. are right here. Yeah. <laughs> facing. Like, 
here. There's no way they didn't see oh, that. Okay. Yeah. Well, in, in yeah. that case, I, I kind of just want to be in front of them. Like, okay. hey, <laughs> look, at, look at me, the funny man with the horrible wounds. <laughs> I mean, look at my three fingers. <laughs> the fire <laughs> beetle light. <laughs> All right. Well, I, you know what? I, I flick the hobgoblin blood off my sword and sheath it, and Summer's I grab the hobgoblin, and I take him over to the slaver pole. Where the kids are. I'm wearing <laughs> shackling. Okay. So Caldun did not have a normal childhood. So. I'm... <laughs> So uh, he's not quite sensitive to, like, you know, the concept of protecting children from anything, since his childhood was basically boot camp for 20 years. Can you tell us about your mother? In the astral plane. Yeah. Actually, I can't. We usually don't know who our mother is. You said usually. That's a weasel word. (laughs) That's a weasel. (laughs) So Khaldun is busily taking the hobgoblin. Um... to the pole to shackle him with the children. Uh, Farazan, what are you doing? Adjusting sound level. Hoping. <laughs> hoping that they're okay. Farazan so rips in, out a mixing desk. <laughs> in case y'all hadn't noticed, Jamie has graciously taken over the streaming aspect of this webcast, which I'm very happy for, but he is distracted. <laughs> I'm getting used to it. Getting <laughs> yes. You well, can't get to find wisdom. Yes. I mean, that's, um, that's like building a jet with a stick. I, <laughs> I, I also updated the overlay. It's gorgeous. It's a very fancy I stick. And, and updating the overlay, boarding it, if you broke me. Because <laughs> mm. I broke everything else. Uh, no, um, there's on. Is the. Is the. Gabba uh, Hoblin. Lives on the ground there. That one currently being drawn and quartered by Kaldun. It's the one being that's got... drawn but not quartered. I'm moving yes. it. <laughs> that's that's not what drawn means. <laughs> <laughs> you, right. you don't want to know. Yeah, <laughs> don't look it up. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I know it. That later. I don't have any horses here. The okay. uh, so, so he, he'll uh, look at uh, fares on Kaldun. He'll ask it. Is it your intention to kill this one as well? Not right now. He gave up, but we needed some answers. Is it bound? No. That's that's what was, my plan was to bind him using the shackles. Oh Since yeah, yeah. In that case, uh, in that case, Farazan <laughs> will definitely help put that one shackled. Yeah. Whichever pole. Yeah. Because I don't have any, and the only shackles I'm aware of are the ones on the slaver pole. Yep. He's going to help do that. And since he's kind of big, he will... Uh, actually... Arizona will step over <laughs> to uh, use his bigness to... Big and blocky. Bigiosity. But yeah, he's, he's going he's gonna to assist Khaldun try the blocks nastiness from the Kirin. All right, Alma, what are you doing during this time? Um, so I guess I first off was just like checking to see if they were okay, if they needed healing or anything like that. If they're all good, then I'm gonna try to get them off the off their shackles. Like I want to free them and let them know that they're safe with us. Okay. So as the four of you are going about doing what you had planned. I really don't like the you're leading in. Yeah, your plan. I don't either. Plan. Oh. <laughs> your intentions. Um, intentions have been noted and discarded. Casbajin just sits straight up. Oh fuck! You're just right. shakes his head. Crap. And he just looks around, looks over at Prickles, and he seems just snarl his face again. Look at the four of you. He, sl- st- he slowly stands up. He's not grabbing his Urgosh. He's dropped that, but he's slowly standing up. What the hell do you want? <laughs> and he starts stretching his shoulders, and you see that his wounds are very, very slowly, but they are knitting as you talk to him. I, I firebolt him. <laughs> okay, roll initiative. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Help, how do I play? <laughs> Press the button. Press the button. <laughs> uh, it's too early for this. Hello. All right. Anybody got above a 20 besides Kazmogen? Yeah. I, roll, I, I rolled it on roll 20. Tell him I hate him. 15 you to 20. See it. Oh, me. Alma? Okay. 10 to 15. I got a 19. I got a 19. Yeah, I got a oh. 16. Okay. 13. Uh, Kaljun, then Alma. Uh, I'm guessing Trevor feels last. 13. Trevor, got a 13 as well. Who go, who, between the two of you, who goes first? Ooh. Definitely Tarathiel. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> All right. He's pretty slow moving at the moment. <laughs> um, Kazbajin goes first. Of and. Course. He looks like he he's dodging. He's taking the dodge action. And he bolts one, two, three, four, five, six. Out the door. Cause he notices, you know, Kaljum starts starts to cast a spell and that initiates combat, so he bolts out of there. Mm-hmm. Kaljum. I turn. cast sleep. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. Where do you target it? Him. Okay. So <laughs> you're actually oh, here vicinity, because you're yeah. dragging a hobgoblin over to the post, right? That's not that's not where we were when all this Mm-mm. mayhem started. You had started moving and he slowly was getting up. And I said, as you're doing what you're doing, so you're halfway there. How about that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Where would you like to be? <laughs> I mean that's fine. I just I I draw I center it like right next to him. So he's the only one in in the area. Okay. And there's no saving throw. Roll the hit points. Because you might put some fish to sleep. <laughs> no, I don't think they're down. in range. It's more than, tw- it's more than 20 feet. They are, they are far, far down. 20. Okay. You hear a thud and a scrape and a snore. <laughs> and then... <laughs> We're out of combat. How many, how many of those <laughs> sleeps have you got? quick. Yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, Enough. <laughs> How many times right. do you reckon he can do that? Because I could go for killing him a few more times. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, well, it didn't matter. So, out of combat, you hear him sleeping right. in the distance. I'm going to go over there and strip that door. Yeah. Tie right. him up, too. So, so Farazan's going to go get an Urgosh. That, huh? I said Farazan is going to go pick up an Urgosh. Okay, move yourselves, because the Hobgoblin is going to bolt as soon as you ignore him. Like You guys were taking him to shackle. You're going to go take up an air gosh. You're going to go strip the dwarf. All right. Hobgoblin's standing there and attended. Okay. <coughs> Worry about well, the I, more important thing. So are we are we in combat or no? Out of combat. But you're now disregarding the Hobgoblin. Razan, you want to strip the dwarf? You want me to? Since you have this situation under control, I will get all right. Okay. You do have an excellent track record at prisoner management. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that was the smartest plan. But you, see... you know what? I'm over here, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> you, you see the hobgoblin stretching his neck to look down the hallway to see what happened to Kazmogen. And of course, he stops, he looks, and he can hear, or he listens, he can hear the snoring and just nods. He's not fighting you. All right. Well, I take him over as, the as pole. Picking, and... Like you, it sounded like you guys were walking away from him, right? <clears throat> I'm gonna go grab the urgosh. I'm gonna go strip the dwarf. So he was gonna take off. So, but if you are attending him, he is not resisting. Yeah, sorry, I, I, okay. for, I, the timing of it, I thought he was already latched. All right. So Farzan, you take off. You're gonna un, you're gonna strip the dwarf. Well, of of what? Tie him up. Tie him up. Take, take away yeah. his weapons, and I'm going to drag him up to the... All of these poles have shackled. Yes? Uh, yes, yes. The the one that erupts from the ground um, has the most... It's more like a show shackle. But the four the four posts uh, that are throughout the room, they all have one apiece. Uh, that, that pole is center stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 oh, okay. So these <laughs> these four non-glowing 
poles have uh yeah the pillars the regular pillars they do all have one shackle apiece all right we'll put on our show over here okay <laughs> um so fares on that's going to take you five minutes to strip him out of his full plate uh, well I don't worry about his plate right now look yeah. for something that's making him heal okay so then i need to know what you're doing um rings amulets uh daggers hammers brushes anything that it can be you know taken away from him uh okay. the armor is kind of secondary all right his ergosh is lying beside prickles okay he dropped him there. when he was dropped uh <clears throat> don't worry about the ergosh but anything on his person pouches belts you know shoes he, d- he does have a uh pouch uh well actually i guess i guess two pouches one's got money in it the other has two potions in it okay Take those away from it. Tarathiel and Alma, what are you guys doing? I mean, I was still just trying to get them off this. Off, I was trying to get the little, the the kids off of the. I was trying to get their shackles off of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. You're, not ha- you're, you're having to get less the words trouble out. doing it. Yeah, same. basically. <laughs> so yeah, you're not having any problem at all. You're, the the okay. children are being unshackled. And Tarathiel, are you still playing blinder? Yeah, I mean, Tarathiel's kind of, like, um, still catching his breath a little bit. <laughs> so if the situation seems in hand, um, he is going to try and remove the shackles from the kids. Yeah. So, because they're, they're still, like, chained, right? And we're just lifting the chains off of the hooks. Can we actually take the chains off of them? Yeah, they're very, very simple. Um, okay. A lot like those shackles that they were wearing uh, the the when they're in the forge. He had a really easy time with those. Basically the same mm-hmm. kind of shackles, no problems there. Um, no roll needed. You just take a little bit of time and get it done. Yeah. Uh, how long does sleep last? One minute. One minute. All right. So I'm not going to really go. We're not doing combat. We're not going by rounds, but you got about 30 seconds left. <clears throat> Once he's, uh, Arizona's taken away all of the things, then he'll drag him over to the post there okay put him in the shackles okay so lift him up no problem you're okay. huge and he is shackled and dangling from the shackles uh shoulders dislocated awfully you hear the wet pop oh no i'm joking oh, uh, yeah no problem you've got him shackled <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay so and then uh the earrings No other accoutrement. So he'll once he's once he's shackled, Fairzon looks over his shoulder at uh, Khaldun. I do not see anything that would be healing him. And he is healing. Cut off his armor. Cut off his armor. All right. It's, it's held together by leather straps. Sure, of course. How long does that take? Here, a few minutes. Yeah, lo- long enough for him to wake up, surely. <clears throat> Um, so, so last time straps. So, so last time we dealt enough damage to kill him. Yes, you definitely knocked him out. Okay, he wasn't. Is the troll regeneration thing um, fire based? Is that common? Who is fairs on asking? App. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it common knowledge that you require fire to kill a troll? Yes, yes, it's, yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I thought okay. you're like, is he regenerating because he's a troll? <laughs> well, I mean, that's the only thing that I can think of off my head. That he does, his skin does have a green tint. Ooh. Seriously, but he's been hit with fire and yeah. stuff, right? No, he has. I thought it was ridiculous. Oh, not this round. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah. this is this is gruesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hold, hold on, let me let me move. Let me move. <laughs> Step over here. You guys are discussing amongst each other. Let's set this guy on fire because he might be a troll. <laughs> Tarathiel's over here, like plugging the ears of the children, and Alma's Pretty trying much. to unlock their. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um... Pretty much. Yeah. Um. Do I have this guy shackled up yet? Yes, he's shackled. All right. Up. All okay. right. Hobgoblin. So. And. That... I'm going to burn him. <laughs> You're going to burn Kazmogen? Yeah. Well, okay. 
We do not want to him. Back to the we do not want him. Information <laughs> from him, though, right? Yeah, but. Okay, so maybe don't Have burn him. Have you seen the movie? <laughs> How do you intend to burn him? Contra Bonfire. With grace and style. Cast Bonfire. He might be can, mad can that be did. interrupted at all? Like, can Fairzon like wave him off, or is he go- is he going to cast it no matter what? Uh, well, I mean, if you're talking to him, if it's you use really your words, I, I might. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm like, yeah. hey, like, don't we need to talk to this guy? Like, don't we need information before you burn him to a crisp? Well, he he seems to be very difficult to kill. So I'm I really understand, concerned that we're but we don't kill need him. to kill him if we need his information, right? But Fer- Ferzon will say, since he is restrained, let us uh, not injure him further. <laughs> if he continues, if he poses any further threat, then we can deal with such. But at this point, he is defenseless. And there is no honor in killing someone. I got my, defenseless. I got my ball of fire ready. It's there. <laughs> you let me know. I'll drop it right on his head. Okay. That's what that's Fairzon's. That's all he'll uh, say. I look at the I look we, at the rest of y'all. I, I mean, I'm I'm just completely baffled. It's like you're really doing this. I'm like, okay, when he gets away, it's on you. But isn't he? I mean, he's getting tied up, right? Like he's getting yeah. shackled, he's shackled to the. His arms are up. He's shackled to the post or to uh, the how's call. How's he gonna get? How's he gonna get away? He's gonna I'm break out of the shackle. Did y'all Did y'all watch the fight? I mean, <laughs> this guy is not weak. Do we not get information from him, though? Okay. I don't know. Do we? I think so. He it was on his, like, uh, he was talking to All the right. beholder like it was no big deal. So he seems to know what's going on with him. Okay. Yeah. I have I mean, questions. Is that go not, I mean. Asking I... questions. <laughs> I'll go over here and take our hobgoblin friend. <laughs> I'm gonna go burn the hobgoblin saying, instead. Like, I'm gonna burn I feel like he has I information that we need. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm not the person to talk to him. I'm just saying I think we need his information. Uh, so about this, this little, time, this, this little wall been going for about thirty seconds. Go ahead. Uh, uh, this little wall ledge is about five feet tall, right? Yes. Was, was that the deal? Yeah, Tarantula's yes. just gonna sit here with his back to the pole. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and as you're sitting after this discussion, because I was looking at the time, I was actually timing it. Thirty seconds of discussion. He nice. shakes his head, starts blinking, and just scowls at all of you. And he looks over at Prickles again and looks at Fairzon standing right next to him. But he's shackled, his arms are above his head, crossed. Um just looks at all of you. Like Morning. I said. What do you want? Well, I'd really like you to stop kidnapping children. <laughs> ah, I don't usually get children. If I get a fair price, I'll do it. Well, then we probably still have a problem, don't we? Now, those kids are paid for. They can, you can take them. I don't care. All right. Where's the other one? <laughs> He's waving like this. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the uh, other one? I do not know. Orbius snatched him up. Orbius. Or- Orbius? Orbius. I think the holder that was just here. And where is Orbius? I do not know. I tell you, he usually comes and goes. He pops in when he wants and pops out when he's done. Nate. <laughs> Terrible neighbor. <laughs> Never can calls. I... Never calls ahead. Always can, I, uh, can I tell if he's lying? Sure. You could try. Insight. 15. He seems as truthful as a preacher. Shackled dwarf. Yikes. I don't trust any preachers. Maybe that's bad yeah, example. me neither. You feel like he's telling the truth. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyone else got any questions? <laughs> what was special about that kid? Search me. I was having a hard time selling him. You ran you off ran off my other customer while you killing my people. Mm. Why were you having a hard time customer? selling him? Pillarac didn't seem to like him. Wouldn't say why. I was dropping the price. He wouldn't take him. Do you do you 
Do you mind? No, like not at all. Shackles. Yeah, we mind a lot. Like, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> like, let me like go or there. arrest me or kill me. Do something. Just said, Pillarac? Pillarac. Could you could you spell that? I'm kidding. Of course. <laughs> he spells it in Dwarven. <laughs> From my notes. Hey, wait, I understand. That, wait, Alma, Alma speaks Dwarven. Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah. Just I read, it, I read his name. In. Do, that's fine, but I already understand. Uh, it's P Y L L R A K. For your well, notes. Well, that's not what I had at all. <laughs> exactly <laughs> how I would spell it. Pillarac. Pillarac. Okay. Very, very uh, Gygaxian. <laughs> you see him after after he's been talking to you guys. He looks over at the hobgoblin, notices that he's alive. Zarkad, you okay? The hobgoblin just nods, shrugs. All right, you guys done? Go get your slaves. Get out. Arrest me. Do something. Just. I'm gonna shut up. Shut up. <laughs> and I mean it. Trying to, and... trying to think. Um, Kazma, we we've been told that Kazma, and this this is out of character. Um, okay. That Kazmogen is he's the one that's selling them. Do we know if he's if have we heard the name of it? Uh, like a or is he the like who's he working for? Yeah. Have we heard a name? I don't believe that you have. He okay. was kind of the highest of the high of, that we have heard of. Yeah, he was the one that it. apparently hired some of the skulks up from in Jadarun. Um, he was the one that sounds like he was, that, was hiring, of like facilitating everything. Right. Yeah, he hired Yatha. But... Mm -hmm. I Reaps. think so. And at this point, he does not have a wound on him. I'm just checking my alignment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, well, it's not evil to set people that are unconscious on fire, is it? <laughs> I didn't do that. Well, it's conscious now, so who knows? Well, right. It's just funny. Heath and I had a discussion about a week ago about alignment. And, like, how do you judge evil and good and chaos and things like that? Yeah. And okay. it's, in the, it's in the eye of the beholder, man. It's uh, absolutely in the eye okay. of... Shall I do it again? Yeah. Do it. Don't do it. Don't oh, do okay. it. <laughs> you, need a, you need a sound effect when that happens. When you yeah, pop up, it's like, bang. <laughs> <laughs> like dun, like dun, the, dun. the Wilhelm scream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, keep, keep doing it. I'll scream. That's scary. <laughs> um, I'm going to go, go out and rifle through his pockets that are on the, the ground. The stuff that his uh, pouch, the stuff pouches. that came off his body. Arizona's got it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. then I'm not gonna look through it. I'm not gonna look through it then. <laughs> I just want to make sure that we got it. Yes, Arizona oh. took everything that wasn't armor okay. right, or a weapon. Uh, okay. Weapon's still lying there, and he's still wearing mm. his armor. Arizona right, looks at it and says, "How are your wounds healing?" Kind of like, kind of <laughs> looking at looking at him, kind of like. Expecting little, you know, things that fit together, and it's like you are not a normal dwarf, are you? Nope. Why should we keep him alive? What are you? I'm Casmogen. That's about all I could tell you. I never saw my parents. All I right. think I was I think I was made by a wizard. That's my that's my guess. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. That's my story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> In that case, you are hereby under arrest. Thank you. <clears throat> Finally, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Probably not a good a good idea for us here and go check on the rest of the Absolutely. or or no. take the kids upstairs, right? We will not leave. No, no, no. I think we should leave the kids out now. Yeah, we yeah. Have them. Yeah, we need to grab them and grab him and get him out of here. And the I, I, I will lead the kids. Well, I'm, I'm already like down here. Top. 
They okay, already all right. thank me. I'm kids. already down here. <laughs> I want the kids. <laughs> I'm absolutely bringing up the Rhea. <laughs> all right, so tell me what your plan is. Keeping him... Is is there a way to remove the shackles from the post? Like, you know, take the shackles off the chain and carry the take the chain with, them so that he's still shackled. shackled that's, that's and what leave they did on. before. They hooked them on a look, put them on a hook or something. Yeah, the shackles are attached to a chain. The chain's attached to the hook, so you can unhook the chain and take him walk him out. Okay, okay, yeah, that's that's what he would. Like. Bears on will leave. But, uh. Kazmagen? Yeah. Kazmagen kind of put him in front, you know, uh, dagger to the back sort of thing. Um, walk him out before anyone. And then behind him, allow him for trail on. Make sure you get his ankles. I, I grab a set of shackles and I put it on the hobgoblin's ankles. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So are we leaving the hobgoblin? We're taking the hobgoblin, hobgoblin yeah. with us? Okay. Yeah. yeah. He's right. under arrest, too. Okay. <laughs> So Fairzon <laughs> has Kazmogen's chain, which is shackled around his hands and feet. And that is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Okay. I think so. And Khaldun is taking the Hobgoblin, who is also shackled around his hand and feet by his chain. Yep. Alma's leading the children, and Fairzon yep. or uh, Tarathiel is bringing up the rear. Backing it up. Okay. That's a good. Oh, I like. It's a good idea. I don't All like right. the fact that Matt is very, very specific. Mm-hmm. Well, he is. Just, yeah, just, it makes it's sense. More, Show it's me more your of, marching order. It's more it's of a, she... you know, you almost disregarded the Hobgoblin early because you're a double jump. You're, you know, I just want to make sure who's, I want to make sure that the two bad guys are accounted for. Yeah. We have, we have. So, you know, it, it's we one have of my favorite things to do as a GM as well, to just be like super specific <laughs> about things that don't matter. <laughs> Yeah, because so it just it just instills so much out. paranoia. It does. It just it's instills great. so much paranoia. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> like, are you sure you want to open the eggs? Oh, oh, oh! You do that. Yeah. Yeah. Matt, do the kids yes. trust me? Um, I mean, they're they still look scared. They're not really talking. Nobody's really talked to them. Um, they when they do you follow you though. They they mumble thanks when you take the shackles off um their eyes are down they're not looking at you they're very very cowed right now but they when you walk they walk with you anonymous stuff. it's not like i just went over there and was like really cold about it <laughs> <laughs> they were like they didn't nobody talked to them that's not nobody true to them. i was over there <laughs> what are you thinking i said i went over there and i was like checking if they were okay yeah, yeah. and i was trying to distract them that's talking to <laughs> okay. someone right so you, you've been talking to them yeah. Tarathiel's doing his best in shadow puppet, just kind of struggling with it. You know? <laughs> I was just trying to get them bunnies. to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fucking <it's> shit. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> going out the way you came? I think um, that's the best idea. To go through the statue. Room. That we know. That's the only way we know. All right. We I don't want to run through the through the 20 process. minutes finding a secret door. No. No, you don't have to this time. I think the entire path from here to the elevator. Uh, we is... convince one of the kids to push the elevator button and say, we'll be back for you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you just hit that lever like and we'll Yankee. see you in just a minute. Yeah. I think we All figured right. out we could wage hand that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Walk all the way back, uh, get everybody on the elevator, no problem. Flip the switch, take a ride up. You're in Jadarun. All right. Going, Fade to black. Str- going straight walk. to uh, going up to uh, Keegan's, I assume. Yes. I'm not trying to yeah. put words in your mouth. Like, is, is that the yeah, plan? Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's we, the plan. Yeah. We're okay. wanting to get straight up. Yeah. All right. We want uh, to. Uh, is our is our guard friend still? Actually, we we know that somebody went through the alarm, right? That was you the other thing. Yes. So while we were downstairs, oh, somebody yeah. went yes. through. Oh, shoot. Got about yeah. that. Neat. <laughs> Meat? <laughs> As... Meat. Meat with a n. <laughs> 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 we hear the knights that say. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> 
Um, as yep. you take your Hold usual back. path back around Jadarun to the main entrance, you get to the uh, the Laughing Mask area here, mm. and there are six city guard standing. They're not like, ha, ah, we see you and you die, but there are six city guards standing in this room, basically checking things out because the, this door here is open, this door here is open. You know, some of these doors are open. They've looks like they're milling about. You know, this is a weird thing to them. They've never seen, didn't know this existed. So they're kind of doing the. Uh, they call it the, the tour. Yeah, they're they're being. Uh, they're casing the place. Casing the joint. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. what they're doing. Uh, kind of be a tourist. You, you might want to be careful because a lot of those doors kind of explode. <laughs> <laughs> well, the interesting thing is that three of them you recognize. They're not wearing uh -oh. face paint this time, but uh -oh. you do recognize them. You see uh -oh. Nihilus Hylum and Caleb Kirlin. And the other and the, as, long, as well as three other guards, and they're just milling about. They're all in their guard regalia. Uh, those three see you and kind of sneer, smile, like knowingly smile. Um, and the other three just don't really pay attention. And they see you coming around. Um, Kirlin steps up to you, taking the kids out. This, I'm in the back. This, this was the. <laughs> I just walked past the fucker. Uh, Bearzon's in the lead. He's I one of the. Uh, know them. Yeah. The, 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 yeah. That's true. Uh, so I think Kirlin I is, would just be moving right along, really. I, I, I don't know who they are. He just laughs as you Personally. pass by. Jackery, you know, Jackery came and told us what you said. Should send down the city guard, and here we are. Never knew this place was here. Appreciate the heads up. Mm. Jackery sends his regards. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. We'll be here. We're moving Bears out. Here. We're moving in. Bearson says, are you here to watch the door? We're here to establish safety in this area. We're going to clear out these, this, the Jadarun, per the watch captain. Bearson says, I would advise strongly against touching any of the doors. They are trapped with magic and poison, other thing, you would be best served to stay in this and make sure no one else comes or goes. Curlin nods. I appreciate that. He just smiles at you. He, he kind of shakes his head. Your lives are your own. We have things to attend to. And he kind of shoves Kazmich uh, forward for this. Okay. You guys move on through, go up into Keegan's house. Uh, Keegan is not there, but there are two more guards that you do not recognize this time. Um, standing, basically standing post inside of Keegan Gill's um, shop. And they, they move out of your way. They don't give you any hassle. They nod to you that's like, as though they recognize you. Where are you going from here? Um, did um, Kazmogen react at all? Did he seem like he knew these dudes the no, guards not really not right. really he's 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 not really looking at anybody he's not cowed but his head's just down he's just walking behind you being dragged by his chains he's not looking at anybody the kind of prisoner that knows he'll be free tomorrow <laughs> i mean pretty much <laughs> uh we gotta do it though i'd say we take him to the guardhouse. yeah okay actually actually should we take the kids back to the orphanage first? Yeah, I have to take them to Jemna. Isn't that what her name is? Jenya is the Genia. priestess, yeah. uh, the priestess of Saint Cuthbert that you've been yeah. working with. Right. And not, she, not the, she did she's ask the that you, No, she did ask that you bring them to her, the children okay. to her. Okay. Then that's what I would do because I trust her. And that she would return them to the orphanage after she made sure they were safe and health, you know, healthy, make sure they weren't going to spread diseases or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> So you're going to go to okay. uh, St. Cuthbert's Church? Yeah, that's that's where I personally will go, but uh, I don't know we, about them with the prisoner. Yeah, are we going to split up, or are we going to all go to the church? I mean, I, my, like, 
what I want to do is take care of the kids. So I think that should be like the immediate thing is getting them like into a safe space. Um, so I don't know. I That's, think it's a great idea to parade these guys through the city. The bad so we'll guys? Do, yep. We'll just okay. go, we'll go well, along with you. The, the victims need to be like taken care of. Yeah. So yeah. That's, yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah. So the idea is to take the kids to the church yeah. with Kazmagen and Sarkad. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, we'll just continually show them where the church is. Ooh. <laughs> so I found this. More um, pixels. It's, it's prettier, but it also has a key at the bottom. And mm-hmm. it's a little telling, but you know there are different. There's a lot of spl- there's a lot of places in Cauldron you haven't been able to chance. You've been, you've been underground for 20 weeks, um, not really had a chance to uh, explore. But there's a nice key at the bottom, and my plan mm-hmm. is is when you find or when you, you know, explore a new place, um, I'll unblock it so you know where it is, and until then, don't really know what it is till you find it. But it gives you a better idea of where everything is. Um, maybe I should have gotten with Jamie first before I sprung this on him to center it. But um, if you look, it shows where the Church of St. Cuthbert is. And it's basically on the other side, almost diametrically opposed across Cradle Lake from where you are now. And I, I, I think Trathiel's walking through the street to get there. <laughs> That's all I'm just I plodding along. <laughs> no, he's, he's stumbling. I was wondering how from he was alley doing to alley. That. Here we go. And that's a. I made it. I made it. <laughs> all right, fine. <laughs> and but just you... just for reference, um, in this, uh-huh. where were we? Where was we? We locked? were here. This is Keegan Gelbs. This is Blue Crater Academy. <clears throat> Happy Pride Month, everyone. Can name this. Uh, this is Randall. the Drunken Morkoth, <laughs> where Nalini works. Okay. Um, Show. Uh, yeah. Skies, which is uh, the Magic Emporium that Fairzon went to, mm-hmm. is number 17. Where is it right here? Oh, that's 12. 12. Uh, it's 12. Well, it's 17. Oh, there it is. 17 yeah, the numbers are weird. They How are these go... numbered? Uh, exactly. <laughs> Randomly. <laughs> they, t- they threw a dart and said that's your, one. That's your homework this week. Yeah. So you've seen a few of these places. You know the, the gates. You know the, cor- the key places that you've been to. But like I said, as we go, I'll open it up and you'll know where these other places are. Um, anyway, you approach the Church of St. Cuthbert. It's still kind of early because you guys... This is still the day that you took a long rest. You went to, you talked to the uh, uh, the uh, professor to make your heads your headset. Oh my god! <laughs> to make your uh, headband. Headband. Thank you. Um, you know, so it's still the same day. That was eight o'clock this morning. So it's probably ten. I mean, it's not that much later. You guys haven't taken any kind of short rest or long rests. Um, I would say it's about ten o'clock in the morning. Circle it of bows. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, just, I just have to, to tell you what the geek in my brain said when I saw this first was like the moons of Jupiter. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, <laughs> as they yeah. swipe around. Yeah. yeah. So you approach, you walk in. Uh, Jenny is there. One of the acolytes runs to grab her. And she comes forward and she, her eyes just light up. And surprise and, and joy and all those emotions that are good um, <laughs> runs forward and she just kneels in front of the kids and just looks at the, the four of you, six of you. But then she looks, sees Kazmagen and, and Zarkad. Who are these? Who? Thank you for bringing. Who are these people? And she pulls the kids behind her and backs away from the from the two that are in shackles. Thank you so much. The children seem cool. Like they seem like they are good. Like they trust her and recognize her. They recognize her for sure. Jenny they spends like a lot of time. They seem the like they feel. They seem like they feel comfortable and happy. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Well, they All one right. of them just yells, "Jenya!" and she runs okay. up. Uh, right. Evelyn, the little girl, 
Um, Just double checking. I don't want to trust anybody. <laughs> she grows <laughs> she grows horns and fangs. <laughs> yeah. um, All right. So eats, eats the children. Thank you. <laughs> Slowly. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Um, thank you so much. I I had my doubts, but I had hope and I had faith that Saith Cuthbert, Saint Cuthbert would direct you. And I see there are only three. I, I it was more than I could hope for to get hope for to get all four back. But even three is outst- unbelievable. I, I can't thank you enough. And she says, hang on, hang on just a second. Uh, we didn't really talk about this beforehand, but just please don't leave. And she, children, she gathers the children. And she walks over to an acolyte and pawns them off basically. And the acolyte nods and they go back and she, you hear her say, give them a bath. We'll get them cleaned up. We'll take them back to the orphanage. <laughs> and she runs back to her rectory and just a few minutes later comes out and she is holding a honking huge bag that's jingling. A honking huge bag. Honking huge bag. My and favorite. She, <laughs> that's my favorite kind of yonk. <laughs> the huge kind. Um, <laughs> One okay. She, she hands the the bag over. She hands it, holds it out for you, and just waiting for somebody to grab it. Um, I was able to collect, and actually had donations from some of the. Um, richer families in town they have gathered quite a bit of money to pay you for your services as adventurers and to give thanks you've saved children and she's sitting there waiting for somebody to grab the bag of gold <laughs> anyway. I, I i got the book okay thank you very much um it's it weighs about 50 pounds and you just glance inside of it and it's all gold Wow. Gold. Gold. Yes. <laughs> wow. We are going to get the armor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. We are going to clean up the kids. We're going to send them back to. Uh, oh gosh, you guys don't know. Um, Keegan's been arrested. What? Um, what for? For aiding and kidnapping. They've arrested him. They've taken him to uh, the guardhouse. Um, is the guardhouse anyway, number five? I believe it is. I have to double look. Check. It's it, on the map. It's the town, town hall. hall. It's the town hall, but that's the only thing that sounds other than a gate. You know. Actually, it is. It's really the guard barracks, uh, but it doubles as uh, a jail, and it's number six. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's right next, right, right next to town hall. Um, yeah, I I went to go check on him. Um, while I was there, several guards walked in. Uh, over half a dozen. Um, they just arrested him for aiding and uh, and aiding and kidnapping. Um, uh, I I can't say that I really at fault him for it. I mean, he really did. Uh, He's trying to make amends, and I I understand he was being coerced, but. Hey, they're going to hold the trial uh, to see whether or not he's guilty. So these two are the ones that are actually selling the children. Oh, she scowl comes across her face. Well, I, I guess justice should be served. Are, do you intend to take them to jail? That's the plan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, Say Cuthbert, help me. I would rather see them die. But, yeah, me too. <laughs> oh shit! But that's sorry. That's that not, was the that's fun not, character. That's, <laughs> that was Alma. Oh shit! That was, that was just me. <laughs> kill him! Fight them all! Go kill them! Hurt them! Life cleric. Um, sorry. Life cleric. <laughs> life cleric. No. And end all life cleric. Party <laughs> <laughs> with holy life death. <laughs> That Cuthbert would never approve of putting the death without trial. Um, uh, fair trial and a fair hanging. Oh. A fair hanging if the trial is appropriate. I agree. Um, thank you again so much. Uh, I won't take any more of your time. You are welcome here at any time. 
Um, can I can you heal us? Oh, gosh. Please. Oh, you look terrible. And she just squirts out a bunch of healing. Okay. <laughs> I think, uh, thank you. What, what's a the, a what's gross B, thank you. <laughs> can I do an insight check on her just real sure quick? Can. Of course. Uh, she does a couple of bursts. Uh, I forget what it's called, but. Uh, uh, like your wounds. Channel, channel divinity. I, channel divinity. That's channel the one. Divinity. There you go. Yes. yes. She does that twice. That's um, nice. Who? What's the most anybody's down? How many? How many hit points are you down, Alma? Me? Yes. That's a big zero. Ten for you, buddy. Not hit at all. Fair's not. I'm how good. far are you down? Uh, twenty-six. <laughs> down? Yeah. Down nineteen. Oh my god. And I'll do. Zero. I am not doing my not job not. at all. <laughs> okay. Well, you did actually. They just got jackhammered um, yeah we did <laughs> so you're all fully healed after her two uh channels channeling divinity you're both fully healed now um and she also uh kind of whispers pulls uh whoever's not attending the two she she pulls almost alma aside and don't really tell anybody but you can buy potions and, and items here i'll give you a discount for for thanks i appreciate your help not just you the four of you but i don't i don't want to hear i don't want to hear that specifically green, that green i don't want to hear that green dwarf here me talk okay yeah, you should go through me that's that's probably for the best okay okay I will. Yeah. I will. thank you alma she hugs you i still want to do an inside check on her okay did you roll no, I, I, yeah, other stuff started happening. I thought, oh, I thought she was going to pay you on good. the side to kill him on the way to the guy. Yeah. <laughs> what if he just I did do a little bit. I was like, where's this going? Don't tell uh, Sitka, really but like, it's, take it's this dagger 13. and jab at his ribs. <laughs> yeah, inflict hey, wounds. We'll, we'll, inflict we'll wounds. Roll against the god. <laughs> <laughs> Look over here. <laughs> you, you don't feel any reason to not believe her. Okay. Um, Terathia, yeah, I would like to. I just, I kind of want to like say like an aside of like we can't trust any type of mi like militia or guard or anything here. So like, I don't know what to do here. Like, I feel like the kids are safe with her, but I don't feel like any of the like police are good here. Like, I say that like. You're talking to Jin. You say that to Jinya? No, I say that to my party oh, members. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, match. <laughs> okay. Well, she she bows and bows her. Yeah, me and Jenny are good. I think. Yeah, we are good. Thank you. you stop by any time. Um, I have things Please. to attend to. I'm going to make sure the children get back to the orphanage. Uh, and again, you're welcome here any time. Thank you again. Um, no, thank you for keeping I, safe. I'm going to I'm going to do my best to make sure you have a reward award ceremony in the next few days. Oh, I'll have, I'll have oh, the Lord Mayor. No, 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 no it's, it's, it's not necessary. You, absolutely, I, it'll, it'll happen. I promise. Stay right. And she she bows out. Until we see no. each other again, St. <laughs> Cuthbert be with you. And also with you. She <laughs> she re retreats <laughs> to her reliquary. Casma Jen's just like, oh, that's so sweet. Shut up. <laughs> so you guys are just down the street from uh, the uh, guardhouse. From Crater Lake. <laughs> it's just down the street from Crater Lake. It's all downhill. Yeah, Very we're like simple. equidistant between like where the where the cops want us to go and where we could just toss them in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's reveal. The Guard Town Barracks, which actually I hadn't thought about, but you already knew where that was. Town Guard Barracks, uh, yeah. number six, that is the jailhouse, and that is where all active duty um, um, daily workings go through there. They don't actually stay there. It's not their houses. People have their own houses, but this is this is like the, uh, I don't know what you call it, the, the center of cop world. 
Station. Thank this you. is this is HQ. HQ. <laughs> HQ. Yes. HQ. <laughs> HQ. Um, taking the two Casmogen and Zarkad to uh, HQ. Um, is that where we are pretty sure we can find Zachary? Uh, you assume yes. Okay. Then yeah. Okay. So you head down Obsidian, get to uh, the barracks. They see you walk in, and it is, it's pretty obvious at this point. They recognize you. The, the town's guard that are there, they recognize you, and they nod when they see you coming up, and one holds the door for the prisoners. And there's a old three-day-from-retirement man sitting behind a, a table. Ah, you've got some prisoners. Yeah, Fairzon pushes uh, Kazmogen forward, holding the end of the chain, and says, book him, Dan. <laughs> Will do. How'd you know my name was Dano? Yeah, it's on your badge. It's oh. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and he's, he turns and yells for the back, yells for some, uh, some guards to come up, and they relieve you of your two prisoners. And neither one of them even budge or not bud they don't fight at all they just walk along with the guards nod at you and head to the back uh, should we now should we take his arm from him we'll strip him of his arm we can't trust them we can't trust the police at all here like that's been established right like we cannot trust them like they they probably don't feel scared because nothing's gonna happen to them Right? Every everything is is corrupt, right? But exactly. So what's the point of putting somebody in jail? But this like... guy, this guy is not the, the he's not Jabba the Hutt. He's not the guy in charge, is he? I mean, he's just he's just Dano. Yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, <laughs> Ka- Kazma the guys, the guys <laughs> that came out into the dungeon were all corrupt too. Like the way they were looking around, what they were saying, like like everybody here. Uh. Uh-uh. So you and to... you also recognize those three were the ones that were beating up the priest of Saint Cuthbert when you first yeah. got to Cal- uh, Cauldron, yeah. and you Which remember I don't Jinya, know about, but... You don't, uh, but Jinya also mentioned that they were, or no, uh, Sergeant Jackery mentioned that those guys were out of jail the next day on bail. It's my pay their bail, and they're what's now the they're back on the putting, street. Yeah, what's the point of putting these guys in jail if they're just gonna get out? Like. This whole place is corrupt. What's the point of even taking them me taking them here? Is there again this this is a character? Is there a sure. alternate I mean I don't know. system of justice? I mean the St. Cuthbert people didn't Fire. seem to want to <laughs> Yeah, I mean we could we could just kill them. I I know, but Fairzone is very straight straight and narrow. He's pretty well. Um Lake. Awful, awful. Um, so if if the law of the law of the land messed up, and 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 I and I do apologize. That's I'd forgotten that we had established. That that's all kind of the way it is. I mean, that was the conversation we had with Jackery a week ago, two weeks ago, was essentially this. That was yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Like, (laughs) us. Us. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. For us. us. Episode week. Sorry. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, I don't know. I mean, I know know what Khaldun's position is. Position's on fire. I'm almost leaning more toward his just because, like, there is no trusted source of law in this city. So the Heath Ledger Joker form of law. <laughs> With sure. a few less explosions. I'm just okay. saying, like we can't, we can't trust these criminals in the hands of the people that are in this city, right? And Dano is just staring at you guys, going, "How can you not trust us at all?" <laughs> <laughs> not you, Dano. Yeah. <laughs> you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. They all love you. To you, the you, you and Mr. Willis over there are okay. The rest of you. <laughs> so speaking of Dano, though, he uh, he does 
rifle around and he pulls out a lock box, uh, 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 a strong box, pulls it out, flips it open, and starts pulling out um, cop- uh, <laughs> copper, silver pieces by the stack. And after about a minute or so, he pushes the stack towards you, closes the lockbox, and puts it back under. Um, there was a bounty for Kazmagen. There's your 500 silver. I don't cool. want any of it. No, I don't we'll, want any of that. We'll, we'll collect it. it again next week. It's fine. I don't yeah. want it. <laughs> I rake it into the 50-pound bag of gold. <laughs> so, um, You're in I, comfort. I, I, know, I know. So we know what uh, Khaldun and or, or at least maybe <laughs> which one was which there uh yeah, i know rachel's what what mike what you your stance on turning him over I, to i feel better about taking this money than i do taking the money from the orphanage <laughs> i mean what about Why? i mean like like Kaz, no not Kazma, turning Kazma. i uh Tarathiel wouldn't kill him in cold blood yeah. um if we if we lock him up and he gets out tomorrow, then we'll hunt him down and we'll kill him again. But why would you want to expend energy to do it again tomorrow if you know that it's going to happen? Because I'm not a murderer. <laughs> I'm not either. But like, what I'm saying is like, why would we do it now? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I'm not a murderer either. I love life. But I condone it's it. Like my thing. It's my thing. My it's thing. literally your thing. Life. It's my it's my jam. My mm. whole jam. My whole jam right now is life. We're not killing him, especially since we just handed him over to the guards. I'm not so suggesting not... to kill him at all. That's your brain. That's what you're doing. I'm I not look over. That. I'm just I look like, over why at are Dano. we giving it so much? Gold? And ask Dano, was the bounty dead or alive? <laughs> uh, he. Looks at the paper. Yep. Dead or alive. Cool. Thank you very much. It's good to know. Yeah. Next Are there Kel, any dude. other? Are there any other bounties? Uh. Yep. <laughs> good, good answer. answer. Can we? Can we <laughs> look at them? Can I take a? Can I like write copy them down or something? He stands up. Uh, it's my lunch break. Come back tomorrow. We'll check that out. <laughs> Steps down. Oh, that's thanks, Dan. Right. Go grab him. Favorite cop. I, I, I go over. I was like, I, I just, I walk out. I'm gonna go get some lunch. I want to talk to. That to, was the DM sneaky way of saying, I'll get. I have you. I'll get back with you for that. <laughs> move along. Move along. Right. Yeah. <laughs> just okay. But yes, you just find a uh, a fantasy. Okay. Um, a fantasy uh, bounty generator and just <laughs> click it a few times. <laughs> no, there are actually there are actually bounties set up. I just cool. don't have those readily available right now. Okay, All right. that's fine. That's fine. I actually, you know, when you did that, I didn't know whether you were implying that he was asking for a bribe or if it was like we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to go back to the sleeping Leviathan. Drunken Morkoff. Drunken Morkoff. Yeah. All right. We're just leaving our lunch. prisoners with this corrupt militia, right? Already done it. Mm-hmm. They have taken. Back. I'm just, I'm just verifying with uh, my party that that's what we've done. Is that we have left two like really high-profile criminals with like people that we don't trust? Is that what's happening? That's exactly what's happening. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, cool. I'd, Let's go get drunk. I, I, I completely understand. <laughs> like that. That this is this is like probably it. a bad idea, and we're it you know is a bad idea. Yeah, we we've handed the dagger to the people that did, you know entire organization gonna, that can stand. They're going to be free tomorrow. They're going to be free tomorrow. Then we'll kill them know. again. Well, I I don't I don't know that we've got any other options. Like lots of options. I, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was, <laughs> I have, I, I have a whole spell book full of I'm options. I'm just verifying to everyone right now that we have left our, like, we have been, like, these sought-after criminals that we have spent a lot of time going after that we have just left in the arms of a police force that we do not trust, right? I think I think Kelvin has have. enough money to build a private dungeon. <laughs> 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 I guess so. All right. All right, cool. All right. I just wanted to double check that's what was going on. 
maybe, maybe not the best decision, but it is a decision. You've All done right. it. Cool. <laughs> Hanging a right on Obsidian and headed to Drunken Morkov. All right. Let's go. Get a, I'm going to go buy a level. I mean, do we have a we sandwich? Have I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what'd you say? Do we still have rooms there? Uh, it's you been haven't a few paid days. for them in a couple of days. Um, because you've not been there. Like, you've stayed either at Keegan Gelb's or down below oh, or at the right. church. Right. You haven't been back right. to the Drunken Morkoth since uh, the fight um, with uh, the three guards that are now guarding Shudderin. Which has been like two days. <laughs> it's honestly, it's been around five days. It's not even yeah, been quite a week a yet. Okay. Yeah. Because you've taken three or four long rests. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's not it's not been a week. Can can we get a room? Uh show. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so you walk into the drunken Morkoth, um, and you see the gigantic what must be a Morkoth in uh, emblazoned on the wall as a, a mural. And you see the bartender back in the back, cleaning a glass. And you see Nalini just floating around wistfully around the <laughs> the the tavern answering, you know, uh, taking orders moving drinks. You guys sit down and Lini floats up. Hi. <laughs> I'm the Lini. What we, can I get? We know. We, we know. We've met. I don't. Who's this? <laughs> I'm the Lini. Would you this like a drink? A, this is Alma. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Would you like a drink? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. And yeah. some meat. Heck yes. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian. Do you have vegetarian options? Show. Sure. Awesome. She could serve you a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would. I would partake of that. <laughs> we only serve vegetarians. <laughs> and she she wanders off like a, a listless butterfly. I love to her. Table. Um, a few minutes later, she comes back. With everything that you ordered. That's on the house. <laughs> oh. And she Whoa. flutters off again. Well then bring the bottle. What <laughs> about Show. the the bottle. <laughs> Show. I'm, envisioning, I'm envisioning one of those, you know, bottles of champagne that are like two gallons, you know. <laughs> <laughs> does anyone have a samurai sword to cut this open? <laughs> Our wizard does. He has a great sword. Mm -hmm. it's so great. Rachel uh, you may not have gotten the description because you weren't a part of the party yet. Yeah, um, I did. But she is, uh, she looks just like uh, Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter. Cute. So she's got that, even even the personality, the wistfulness, like just the, you know, talks to ghosts kind of feel. Mm -hmm. That's her in a nutshell. <laughs> she's serving empty tables. <laughs> She's talking to the people that aren't there. Yeah. Represents, but is legally distinct from Luna Lovegood. <laughs> um, but yeah, you you have you've been fed and you have drinks. You are not paying for them, um, and you are all put up for the night at the Drunken wow. Morkoth for free. Wow, sweet. Hey, after after I enjoy this free meal. Um, I'd like to talk to the bartender to find out why it's free. Okay. Uh, no problem. You walk up. He's washing a glass. Thanks. I get you a drink. Yes. I just want to thank you for your hospitality. And uh, not that it's offensive or anything, but I'm curious as to why it's on the house. I mean, thank you. You've uh, You've been given a tab by one of the richer folk in town oh good to know do you know who this person is uh, which one was he uh, Lord Valantru Lord Valantru thank you very much is he a summoner is he a what a summoner what does that mean just kidding it's not a, not a class in 5A oh not a class in 5A <laughs> You have a blue dragon around it? <laughs> that would be a weird thing for a noble to have. Oh, okay. I just Thank realized you. the name is very, very similar. Yeah. Mm. Oh, crap. 
I just I just caught on what you were doing. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, can't bring up the other the other I it's, the, it's the property. Going. Doing like math on them. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Okay. Um, well, thank you very much. And I go back to the table, and I, Lord Volantru has has paid our way here. Food, who board. Who is that? Uh, I don't know. Do we trust him more than the gods? I don't trust anybody here. Don't know. I don't know. Maybe but the we meat, should. The this is good. But nobody knows who Lord Volantru is. No. Should we try? No, well, to I'm sure that someone out? does, but I don't. Well, think nobody at this table. No. Nope. I've I've been in this city for approximately four days. Yeah, me too. Um, uh, Tarathiel is drinking like he's trying to turn it into a career at this point. <laughs> he, had, he had a confrontation with the beholder. I think he needs to uh, settle his nerves a little bit. I yeah, don't so. want to remember this tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> but also, like, was that a bad dream? Yeah. yeah. But also, he's kind of he's he's working up the nerve to kind of like ask the party like, tomorrow I'm I'm gonna find Orbius and find that kid. Who's with me? Uh, I've got to work. It's your work. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It would, <laughs> that would actually be amazing if Nalini was like this enchanter. That's beautiful. Like a really high level enchanter. <laughs> like, awkwardly standing by the side just, like, I can't do that. No, I can't. <laughs> so I, well, I hate I hate to bring for, this up. Thanks for considering it anyway. I hate to bring this sure. up, but uh, Fairzon says that that is an admirable goal, but there are likely more prisoners in the Malachite fortress that let loose. Well, I, I before think we go, are, those well, two kind of coincide. Yeah, that we'll, could be two birds one stone type of situation, right? But a beholder is a very dangerous foe. I believe we would need more power. But with our powers combined, we can beat anything. Who's hard? Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Care Bear Stare. And I kind of like. You know who Fire is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did it work? Did anybody believe that? <laughs> I tried. All right. Yeah, I, so, I, would, I would love to hunt that thing down and poke out its eyes. That'd be great. Yeah, I mean, like, that last kid is kind of like that one thing that we need to go and grab, right? Like, yeah, that's kind of important. You can't just let him float along. Did, did, we, did we in character verify that that was the fourth child taken from orphan? Yeah, I was going to ask that, because we know we rescued three, and we know the names of them, right? So <laughs> who was the fourth one? Um, we, had, we have all four. Yeah, gotta Deacon, be the fourth guy. We had Deacon, Evelyn, Lucinda, and Karen. Yeah, so, Tarim was the one that was taken. Yeah, you came back with Deacon, that. Evelyn, and Lucinda. Okay. I, um, probably, I, I don't remember if we if we told that to um, Virginia or not. That would have been among the things that we told her. Well, Jenny would have known because she just <laughs> scooped up three kids that weren't of the four that she so, suggested. I, I meant the, the fact that he was taken by a... Thing. That was never oh, brought. Like, All she knows is you guys came back with three kids. Oh, yeah. shoot, I forgot. She, she didn't doesn't mention know holder, that didn't mention any of that stuff. I think her. it's yep. probably best that she doesn't know that. Right <laughs> now. I mean, I, 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 I have a drachma. One drachma. This is my bet. I want you to mark the time. Uh, Terram is Valantri's illegitimate son. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Would, wouldn't he have like a? Uh, time is it? 1118, episode 20. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mark. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Make a clip. Yep. I'm going <laughs> to clip that. <laughs> okay. So you guys are sitting around the table discussing. Um, so, Khaldun, what are you thinking? What, what, what's your plan now? First, I'm going to go to my room and count this gold. <laughs> okay. To find out how much we've got, because okay. I don't want to do it out here in public. <laughs> Do we all feel comfortable He's with Elder and doing, and doing like that on that. his own? <laughs> I mean, as long as he doesn't set it on fire. <laughs> well, 
Worst could happen. He's is like, I have to go into my room and count this money alone. <laughs> and we're like, okay. Yeah. I mean, y'all can come with me if you want. I think there's That's room. good. We're it's <clears throat> privacy. It's um we need to go talk to the orphanage. I think we need to go to talk to Genia. I think we need to find Lord Volantru, whoever this person is, and talk to them because they've taken an interest in us and that that could help us possibly. It could be, it could be very bad. <laughs> or it could be very bad. Either way, <laughs> it's an unknown that we need to know. Um, those are the big picture things. I would like to take a nap. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then um, with a little bit extra time, I'd like to go back to the Blue Water Blue Water Academy. Academy. Blue Crater, Blue Crater Blue, Academy. Blue Crater Academy. Yeah, and and um, just ask some questions there. But that I, I can do that later. But that okay. that's what I'm thinking right now. Traffic, what's on your mind? Uh, I think I I agree with all that. I'm definitely focused on the getting the kids um i think um we should probably check in with jackery at some point just to make sure that he's okay because i think he might not be <laughs> even then he was not. like helping us to protect the uh <laughs> keegans and then the people that were protecting keegans are people we know we don't trust um and also he's kind of our eyes on the inside of the guards to find out if um something untoward is happening um and I'm still, I'm interested in finding details about the last laugh, um, but it's probably secondary to the kids at this point. That yeah. last kid. Yeah. Got to catch it. Got to catch them all. Very <laughs> <Right. laughs> What's on your mind? Um. Well, he he need he needs to rest. Um, but he <laughs> thinks that I mean I'm out of out of it. Okay. Very tired. Um, <laughs> so, so, so tired. Every time I can just see Herzog's just nodding, 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 head in the, head in the skin. Everybody's talking to me. Conan style. Yeah, Conan exactly. Style. Exactly. He, um, the... no, but he's, he's kind of taking everything in and <laughs> his priority, um, after, after resting and getting his abilities back is to, uh, go back down and see if there are any people trapped because we, i don't know counted for all of um Kesmogen's employees and bob hoblin thing again <laughs> so you are almost certain there's more there at least there were when you left there are more slaves down there. okay from what you heard from the four that were in the the forge room, she verified that the dwarven woman verified that there are other slaves in there. Yeah, in in that case, then his his priority before we even go back and tell Genya go see the orphanage, go back down and through the rest of. The All right, Alma, what's in your head? I think. I think with Alma, like, she's, like, really restless because there's, like, three different things that just popped up that are, like, really important. So I think number one is, like, finding that fourth kid because that's the earliest thing that happened. And then just, like, figuring out what's going on in this town is, like, really important because she knows that there are people who are not to be trusted, who everybody else trusts. So I think that's kind of where her mind's at. So, like, number one thing to do is go back down and find that last kid. And number two is we can't trust anybody around here. Okay. So you guys finish up your meals, finish up your brews. If there's nothing else, you can take a long rest. <gasps> it's early in the day, so you have time to do some things if you'd like. Go around town. But, like I said, you're fully healed. Jen, you took care of that. Um, mm -hmm. But you officially have the rest of the day and the night to do as you would like. Before I interrupt it. <laughs> Thank you for being on. 
Uh, but if there's not anything immediate that you want to do, because some of you guys had some questions that you could easily go around town today. Um, yeah. But you've also all set a, a, a pretty good interest in going and just conking out for the night because you just tapped everything you've got out. Yeah, I kind of spent <laughs> spent my it's been energy. It's been rough. But yeah. I, I, I would like to, I mean, in case you do want to go shopping, I would like to go ahead and split this money so everybody has yeah, your yeah, share. Yeah. Okay. The bag that you, the bag of gold that you receive from Virginia contains two thousand five hundred gold. Jeez. Um, and you said that I, if I spent some time, I could repair that black sapphire with mending. Ooh. Yeah. Um, if you spent, uh, what's the cat? Casting time is like a minute for mending, right? No, it's uh, it's, a, it's an action. Six seconds. Is Oh, I thought it was a minute. Um, oh, in that case, probably 10 minutes just piecing together all the shards. However, the problem is, is you don't have the rest of it. The rest of it's still in the socket, right? You He broke it off. It shattered. The piece, this, there's part of it still attached to okay. that, um, to the socket. Okay, we'll go get that later. Okay. But yeah, <laughs> so if it's just a six second cast... The way it's broken, probably 10 minutes. Not too bad. That's a, a hundred rounds of continual casting. Then. That's yeah, going to give you a headache. I mean, it's it's <laughs> no broken. Big deal. No, it's, it's not like a nice even cut. It's shattered. Mm. But, you know, just one after the other. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Uh, but you can definitely do it. Just take a little bit of time. Okay. All right. Here, let me split this up here. So that's 35, 5, 0 divided by 4 equals 887 gold and 50 silver each that's a lot mm-hmm. that Folks. is large that Eight, is large 887 and gold 50 correct yeah that's one black sapphire the bag of gold oh. and the 500 silver piece bounty all rolled together okay split that's and so I'm, ha- I'm hanging on to the shards of the other black sapphire until I can get the rest of the pieces and repair it. Once As I figure are. out how to do it, once I figure out how to do it, I'll flash up dollar signs or, or <laughs> drachma signs. Ling 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 ling. Ding 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 ding. Um, and the the black diamond or the black yeah the black diamond is worth a hundred gold right now if you wanted to if you had to, um, but it's worth a thousand if you fix it. Yeah, I mean I think. We'll go back and take a look at the statue. And... It's not like we're hurting for cash at the moment. <laughs> we can yeah, afford to wait. You are a little flush. I think it's worth uh, trying to do it right. <clears throat> okay. So, okay. anything for the afternoon? Can I lock um, that door behind me? <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, I would like to. I would like to spend a little bit of time. I don't, I don't want to take the party's time, you know, talking through this. But um, no, go for it. I would like to spend a little time at the um, <laughs> academy. Uh, okay. S- scribing some spells. You just dropped off. I didn't hear what you said. Scribing, scribing some spells. Scribing some spells. Okay. Yeah. Because I have a spell book, I can copy them into my spell book so I can prepare them. Yes. Um, um, and you, it's 50 gold, right, per spell level, unless, unless you're unless abjuration. Abjuration. Yeah. And that's 25. So, yeah. I, now that you have become a student uh, of the Blue Crater Academy, you have access mm-hmm. to all the spells of your spell level, first level and second level. Holy crap. So but it's all right. gonna, it's we'll, we'll deal with that you. later. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, cost we'll you. That. So let, let's let's do that off screen. Okay. Uh you just okay. shoot me some messages on Discord sure. and we'll take care of it between now and then. Okay. Um but yeah, you have access to you can scribe everything. Awesome. Wow. Okay. Oh, and also, um funnily, <laughs> amazingly enough, the uh the billboard, the billboard outside of the uh, Drunken Morkoff yeah. where you put up that thing earlier. Yeah. There you know how you like tear a phone number off yeah. or whatever, contact yeah. me. There are a few of those that have been taken off. Awesome. Yep. So I'll, again, I guess we can do this sort of off screen. I'll follow up with those people and just try to come up with some sort of exchange down 
swap notes. Okay. Might make it a little cheaper. Okay. Alma, <laughs> is there anything you want to do this afternoon? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. There's on. Um, I think if you would want to do, um, are there, are there mechanical rules that the getting modifying way? Y yes. What, okay. what do you have in mind? Tell me what you want to do. <clears throat> so, um, I had that long staff, which was basically a halberd modified to do bludgeoning. Uh huh. And so, it, you know, it's an okay weapon. Have some reach. I was thinking, is there a way to increase, either increase the damage I can long stay, weighting it with um, metal bands? Um, it'll it'll more heft out of it because that great act is a d12. And I get nice, but it doesn't have. Okay, so game mechanics wise, you will just pick a weapon from the book. Um, if you have this, you know, it, Halibird, for example, does have reach and yada yada. You find the you find the weapon in the book that you want, and you can skin it. Yeah. In game to look however you like. Um, so which is essentially what you've done. You've got a halberd, like technically you're you're wielding a halberd on yeah. your character sheet, but it's skinned to look like a, a long uh a giant staff. Staff. Yeah, yeah. So you could do that. I Tree mean Tree trunk. As long as you pick a weapon from the weapons list, and you're a fighter, because you so you can use damn everything. Um, that's fine. You just call it whatever you want. You just find the item and say, Hey, this is a tree trunk with a like a big ball of dirt at the end it's heavily weighted something like that but yeah it's, it doesn't matter to me it's it's all about thematics when it comes to skinning your well, armor and weapons if what if i wanted to add to like that great hat that would be creating a brand new weapon that's no that is not represented in the game so um you wouldn't be able to get it's a uh, your masterwork great axe you could not change it to a different weapon. Is that what you're asking me? Yeah, that, essentially, essentially, I, I was I was trying to think that like, um, my plan is with Farazon to go in Sentinel. Uh huh. Have that ability to pop some cracks back up. So I'd like to have a reach weapon to thin my brain. But you know the the reach weapon that I've got right now is D10. I think, I think they all are. And yeah, yeah. You've got a lance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I was thinking, you know, how much would it cost, you know, in terms of gold to get a reach weapon that either a D12 or two D6. I don't think it exists in game. Yeah. So the, but there's no mechanical rule behind trying to create. No, um, okay. the only way you could add damage dice to it is if you had it magically infused with fire or ice or something, which does additional dice of damage when you hit. Um, but just creating a new class of weapon for the game. Okay, correct. Yeah. Uh, one one last mechanical thing is: sure, would it be possible to make a masterwork long staff? Yes. Okay. That is possible. Um, You'll probably have to source it out because you don't have yeah, those skills, yeah. but you could definitely um, have somebody, you could go talk to somebody, have them make it for you. It'll take a little bit of time, not nearly as much time as it would a magic item, but it'll take uh, several days depending on the item. Okay. Um, so if you're basically wanting to make your, your long staff, a masterwork long staff, mm -hmm. um, it yeah. is going to be based off the halibur cost because, I mean, technically that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and creating and making something masterwork costs 50 gold. So anytime you find a masterwork item weapon, uh, it's worth the item plus 50 gold as far as selling it. So yeah, basically 
you wouldn't have this one recreated. You would have them create you a brand new masterwork, uh, right. whatever weapon it is. Yeah. Right. And that. Um, and the other thing, he he would uh, spend some time going over blacksmith that Caldoun originally apprenticed himself to. Day and a half. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and hasn't shown up for work. <laughs> hasn't shown up for work. That's you tell uh, that bastard he's fired. <laughs> the deadbeat. Oh, don't say fire. <laughs> yes. oh, that's my trigger it's word. Trigger word. <laughs> Someone say fire. Uh, but yeah, he would he would look into that, so we can hand wave that. But the other thing um, is, since bears on is Battlesmith third level, picked up a proficiency, and so at the end of the day when he blacksmith talk he went back to take out a pad of drawing paper, and he begins. Kind of uh, take notes for the day, but he's doing it in sort of like drawing form, like comic book panels, like graphic novel type panels. He, you know, scenes from the day where he remembers. Pretty good at it. So, what was the skill that you got? Took a. Uh, there wasn't a drawer drawing supplies, so I took painter's supplies. Okay. He's an artiste. I don't remember what it's called. It's That's a, so cute. Yeah, yeah. It, sure. It's fun, isn't it? It's um, student of war. So you gain proficiency type of oh. artisan tools. Like so, calligraphy or... Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And and I was thinking about it, like the 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 movements of, of drawing or painting, something like that, the training, the focus it takes to do those, kind of along the same lines as the focus and dedication that a warrior would have to do. So he's, you know, he's practicing drawing his, his, his shapes and his curves and shading and getting it right. And that's the same dedication he would show to you know, going through his katas and forms. Pretty cool. Spend some time, you know, you know doing the stretches and, and things, you know, you hear thud, thud, thud around his room and nice and quiet. <laughs> Patchouli. Yeah. <laughs> A new patron goal to get uh, pages of Fairzone's comic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do not have proficiency in, in artist. It's all no, no, the crayon. <laughs> <laughs> Fairzone's crayon rendition of Age of Madness. Wonderful. Uh, Tarathiel, is there anything you wanted to do this afternoon before you guys take your long rest? Uh, no, I have a date at some point, right? There's Sorry? A, I have a date at some point, right? There's a the the dwarf invited me to meet her somewhere at some point. So that was uh, she was not the dwarf, um, but she did sign. She did some thieves can't, and she mm-hmm. gave you a date and time, which is in about three days actually. Okay, cool. It wasn't so today. Time. Yeah. Uh, in that case, I mean, Tarathiel is part of the reason why he kind of joined the party in the first place was for protection because there are people on the street that have tried to murder him and they've already yeah. taken a small piece of him yeah. so i'm going to spend the day pretty much in my room because i don't really want to go out on the street <laughs> just in case horrible things happen to me um, just i was thinking I, I was thinking that i could maybe go and try and find out word on lord valantru but um Tarathiel's not a not a charismatic guy <laughs> he's not going to get any uh, information from anyone so um yeah no i'm he's going to uh go into his room close his door he's gonna like he wants to sit like his short sword up against the door so that if somebody opens the door it'll clatter to the he floor falls out. and and then he's <laughs> he's he's gonna go fall asleep because yeah no. he did have a rough day and he did drink an awful lot this morning for breakfast so <laughs> yeah uh now Jinya did mention that the money that she got was from some wealthy patrons it's possible mm-hmm. that this lord volantra was one of those patrons so she may know something about him That's yeah true uh, but I'm I'm gonna wait until the whole party is ready to range out together. All right, and I'm pretty sure I think I may have already forgotten. But Alma, you said you're good. You had nothing you wanted to do, or did I skip you? I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. You, no, you didn't skip me. Okay. I'm just boring. Is she gonna walk around Cauldron healing, mm-hmm. murdering people? 
Bye. 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 I'll suck their souls out and then give right. them their souls back. Yeah, maybe we can go around cure, together. That hand <laughs> <aren't you? laughs> no, I think I'm okay. <clears throat> I'm just, I'm pretty concerned with where we left things. Okay. Um, yeah. So, you guys bed down for the night. And when you wake up next week, you'll be fourth level. <laughs> awesome. And that's where we ended today. Yay. But I do need to make a quick announcement. If you're still on here listening, we are going to have to make some recording adjustments because of the holidays. We will not be recording next Sunday. We will be recording Wednesday. This coming Wednesday. Yeah. This, this, this coming, coming Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. It will be the replace. Yes. It will be replacing our 4th of July recording. It's really just for Matt. Or I mean, Mike. I'm sorry. <laughs> <It is. laughs> Um, and I believe actually the following weekend, uh, we're going to have to make an adjustment as well. So we'll be recording two Wednesdays in a row. Uh, I hadn't discussed that with the second Wednesday yet. Heath is going to be on vacation. So if everybody's cool, we're going to be doing this Wednesday and next Wednesday. I'm cool. Yep. Yep. (laughs) All right. Then we will see you guys this Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Daylight Savings Time. Come to the Discord and hang out with us. I gotta finish my my <laughs> salad bowl of, of vegetables. <laughs> uh, I bet it's real fresh after a few no, hours of DMG. It's, <laughs> it's not as hot as it once was. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks, Bye. Matt. Thanks everyone Bye. for hanging out. Thank you. Yep. Thank Thanks, you, Matt. Matt.